hello again and welcome back to our channel today i am going to be preparing some garlic butter steak the ingredients i have here i have a slice of steak here some fresh thyme some fresh garlic fresh onions salt and pepper and some dry parsley here and of course some butter so let's jump right into it so the first thing i'm going to do is to just add some salt and pepper to the steak so i'm just going to have a little salt and pepper here and i'll just turn that over and apply it to both sides a little salt on this side too so what I'm going to do now is to just leave the steak to sit there while I prepare the other ingredients I'm going to chop my going to chop my onion and garlic and thyme to chop my seasoning I'm going to be using my little handheld chopper here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour my garlic in here. So I'll chop my garlic first. I'll give this a couple of pulls to chop my garlic. So here you can see, don't know how much you can see in here, it's not a lot of garlic but you can see my garlic has been finely chopped so I'm going to remove my garlic from here so you can see how much garlic I have here it's very finely chopped so I'm going to remove my garlic from here Now I'm going to be chopping my onion so the same container I'm going to chop my white onion so I'm just going to cut this in quarters and a couple of pulls So here you have my onion, which has been very, very finely chopped. So you can see my onion here. I'm going to remove this from here and then I'm going to chop my red onion. So I'm only using half of the red onion. So I'm going to just cut that in another half. To the red onion, I'm going to add some of my thyme. So I'm just going to cut the fresh thyme here. And I'm going to chop that with the red onion. So I'll just cover that and I'm going to give it a couple of pulls. So there you have it. My red onion is nicely chopped. So now I'm going to remove the onion from here. So just going to quickly remove this it starts interfering with my beautiful eyes so that's the red onion and some fresh thyme just gonna scrape that out here so 
so there we have it that's my seasonings all ready so that's my chopped onions and garlic and some spring of thyme so i'm going to set those aside so now i'm going to prepare my steak i have my pot here on the stove and the stove is on very i eat so i'm going to add some butter to my pot I'm going to allow the butter to melt. While the butter is melting, I'm going to add some onion. And some of the red onion too. And I'm going to also add some garlic. and some fresh thyme. I'm just going to saute the onion and the fresh thyme here. So I'll just set these around the edge of the pot for the time being. Allow them to saute just to get some flavor into the pot here with the butter. So this now I'm going to have my steak. So I'm gonna just put my steak here. So I'm going to now just leave this to cook. So I'll give each side of the steak just about maybe three and a half minutes thereabouts. So while my steak is cooking on one side, I'm just pouring some of the garlic and the onions over it here just for it to get some of the flavoring so I'll allow this to cook and when I'm ready to flip it on the other side I'll come back so here you can see my steak cooking beautifully on one side. I'm going to now flip this over for it to continue cooking on the other side. I'm just going to give this another three to four minutes just to finish cooking on this side. After which I'll turn my stove off and remove it from the heat. So if you look here now, you can see my steak is done. So I have turned my stove off and I'll just leave it to sit there. After which I'm going to remove it and serve this with some creamy mashed potato. So, it's all done. 
so there you have it my steak is done and i'm going to serve my steak so there we have it steak is nicely done i'm going to serve this now with the creamy mashed potato here And I'm just adding those baby plums for a little decoration. So I'll just remove some of my sprig of thyme from here. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And also remember to turn your notification bells on so you'll be notified when we do upload more videos like these. Thanks for watching again. Enough love. God bless you all.